Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is where I set up my new six month bullet journal. First thing I did was in an old journal, jotted down some ideas of how I wanted some layouts to look and what I wanted to track and how many pages I needed. So first thing I'm gonna do is write who this book belongs to. I'm going to do a nice design with these three simple objects. First thing I'm going to do is wrap the paper plate in cling film. As you can see, I'll just use a bit of sellotape to hold this in place. I turn it over and get my pens ready. The first set of pens I'll be using are these blues. So you can just take any random colours. I was going for a purple blue look. You can do any shape, any pattern, and you'll see how this turns out at the end. It's one of my favourite designs and I think you'll be seeing it a lot throughout my bullet journal. I feel like this design would go great for a quote page. So as you can see, I'm using some pinks, all different shades, and lastly, I'll go on to use greens. Green's my favorite color, so I had to get that in there. So you can literally do any design you want, any pattern. touch up any areas and then you're done so next you want to grab a little pot of water spray some water on the ink and then what we're going to do is place this where you want this in your journal so once I did this I gave it a little twist and a turn to get as much ink off the cling film as I could and this is the end product so as you can see in some areas only one colour was more dominant so what I did is wrapped a bit of cling film around my fingers so that I could get a more accurate positioning and I just spray that with a bit of water probably one or two squirts and then just place this where you think it is needed. I wasn't looking for something that looked clean and neat, I wanted it to be a bit messy, so as you can see, I've tried to do that by going out of the circle. I then do this again with the light green and dark green, and then again with the blue. This technique gives a great watercolour vibe and I think that's why I like it because it's not as messy as using paint but you get a really good effect with it. My numbers to be, I want this to read 2020. Next, I'll write my name. Now, I'm still learning calligraphy, so I'm not great, but I've had a bit of practice with my name, so I feel like this comes out pretty good, but definitely room for improvement.
and then at the bottom there I'm just going to write July to December. And that is my front page done. Now moving on, I didn't want to have a typical year view spread. I wanted to have a place though where I could write down some birthdays or some things to remember on specific dates. So I thought about doing it this way. So this way I just have little areas where I can write down whose birthday it is or if it's an anniversary and I did them in all different ways. So I've got a couple post-it notes there, some paper and then some lined paper which looks like when you was in school. You'll see when I add the colour. That is probably my favourite design. Next I just write the month on either the side or the top wherever I think it will fit. Again using calligraphy but I'm not that great so we'll get better. That is the finished piece. Next I wanted a way of tracking the books I'm reading. I feel like this will motivate me to read more because I don't read enough. Uh, the last time I did this I put about 30 books on a bookshelf and I think this was way too much as I don't read at the moment so I thought the perfect way to track any books that I read would just be as I go. As you can see I have drawn four books so once these are filled in uh, wherever I am in the month I will just add another book page like this so I can fill it out as I go. Uh, these are the metallic pens that I reviewed and they were actually really good, they came up really nice. So that is my book tracker. Next I wanted a way to list out any movies that I've wanted to watch for a long time but haven't. So I thought I would use this film strip. So I decided to do it this way in the end and use my white pen to go down the sides and create these little dots and it worked out so much better than the way I was starting to do it as that would have took a long time. So you've probably noticed I'm using a pencil a lot. Um, this I won't always be using a pencil, I just think where this is my first bullet journal, I just want to get a bit more comfortable with using ink on paper, because knowing that you can't rub it out. So as you can see here, I've drawn loads of play, pause and stop buttons. The idea is, is once I fill in a movie that I've watched, if I colour in play, I liked it, pause not so much and stop I did not like it at all so that will be interesting to see how that looks at the end of the year and now I'm moving on to my quote page here I'm just sketching out where I want the words to go I don't know if you can tell yet but that's a pineapple so just kind of sketching out where I want everything to go. And now for the pineapple, I use the technique I used earlier in the video where I put clean film around my finger, colored it in and put it on the paper. And I did the same for the leaves as well. So I didn't want this to be neat. I wanted it to be out of the lines a bit. And that's the, this is the look I was going for and I was really happy with the result. So now that I've joined the leaves, I just try to give the pineapple a little bit more detail and a bit more depth. 
so the quote is be a pineapple stand tall wear a crown and be sweet on the inside now as you can see it bled through quite a lot <laughs> i wasn't expecting this so i used my white pen that i reviewed in a previous video and it took about four coats and it didn't look too bad in the end to be honest but in person it looks like i've put tipex on the paper where the papers are slightly off white it just did not look good but and now i'm just having a bit of fun with some stickers just trying to make it look a bit pretty and that is my finished bullet journal setup so i'm just going to have a little flick through here now this is by far my favorite page i love this and i'll be using this technique throughout the whole book so i know i didn't do much in terms of trackers and lists and spreads in general but i decided for this journal i wanted to do more monthly trackers as this is my first journal i thought that would be a better idea so then by each month i can drop off what i'm not using and add on what i want to use maybe next year when i do my bullet journal i'll be confident enough to know what trackers i will use and won't use but for now that's what i've decided Thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you haven't already watched my first video, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pop on over and check it out. Until next time!